a dreary Saturday afternoon here in California, Pennsylvania for California's annual homecoming parade. Again, for the third year in a row, I'm Stephen Ruffing, and join with me this year is Colin Kirkwood and Danny Beck. It's going to be a fun one, boys. There's a lot of floats, a lot of fire trucks, and I'm excited. I'm excited, too, for those fire trucks. I mean, oh, yeah. We were looking up some facts, uh, I guess, pre-game, I don't know, pre-parade, and, you know, we were looking up these facts, and we're going to have some juicy uh, juicy details. Uh, no. well, we didn't look anything up. They're off the cuff. They, they, <laughs> they, 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 they come from the brain. We just, we just uh, know a lot about fire trucks. A magician never shows his tricks. No, very true, very true. Yeah. You're right. But I mean, this is my first parade. I know this oh, yeah. is Colin's first parade, That's too. Right. So it's it's going to be a fun one, Colin. It, it, it is cold, though. You said it You yep. said it right. Dreary is definitely the way to way to describe it. Yeah, and hopefully this parade kind of lifts everyone's spirits, as I'm sure it will. And we usually get a list of what floats are coming up. <laughs> uh, but this year we don't, so we're going to be a little off the cuff and... Uh, a little impromptu when the floats are coming by. And the theme for this year is through the decades. What an interesting theme it is for this homecoming. Really one of the interesting things I think about that theme is I've been watching throughout the week and leading up to homecoming. The uh, university's social media and online presence has been doing a really good job of showcasing how parades were throughout the years past. And I just think that's one of the coolest things about this theme, really going back in history and being able to, like, recreate the way things were. It's really cool. There were a lot of cool parades back in the day, and hopefully they've got another one here. Yeah, there are probably some interesting uh, floats you can make out of uh, the decades. So I'm excited. Uh, I'm sure you guys are excited for this for this first one. Last year I was with Ryan Kaufman. The year before that I was with Cheyenne White, and before that was our very own J.R. Wheeler and Michael Mays. It's a wonderful group yeah. right there. Mm -hmm. That is a star-studded cast i mean all of those honestly you know with cheyenne as well but yeah this is uh one of the cooler things that uh we'll be able to to call <laughs> and as you see the california police officers and following them is i believe the the Army, the, Army, the yeah. ROTC, what, yeah, what National Guard, possibly. National Guard, yeah. Stars and Stripes. A huge, huge flag. Spans almost the, the width of the street. But that truck, Steve, too. That's uh, oh yeah. It's got some, got some, cargo carrying abilities on that. That'd make a cool Hot Wheels car. Oh, yeah. That. Yeah. Very true. Probably have one of those uh, laying around my room with a... Played around with it in the, in the sandbox. I don't know if you had a sandbox, Colin. Oh, I definitely had a sandbox. It was a, it was a necessity. And now we get to get into these awesome homecoming court cars here. Absolutely beautiful Corvette. See a Jaguar. Even a Jeep, too. And that that is not just a normal Jeep. That is a tricked out Jeep. Look at those LED headlights on that thing. Yeah. You'll see that when you that comes into the frame. That is that is something. But right now you see that Corvette coming in. Yeah, George Novak, former professor here at California. And there's the candy. Everyone anticipates the candy coming up. Missy Dunn and Mr. George Novak's family. She's catering them around. There's all the candy. I think that's what the kids love during the parade. They love to watch the fire trucks go by as well as the free candy. That's what it's all about. Honestly, if I'm down there, oh, there's the first gentleman and university president. And last year, Geraldine Jones wasn't passing out candy. Maybe she took your advice. Maybe she, uh, maybe she watched the parade and... Uh, and saw it. There's the, the last year's homecoming queen, Mari Boyle and Corey Cottom. And that Jeep that we were talking yep. about right before there. And Jillian Thorne, Zachary Dugan following behind them. Man, they're just flying through. Yeah, they these. are. Usually they stop and 
and uh, and showcase the cars. And just to mention Jillian Thorne, I didn't m mention her in the newscast. I must have skipped right over it. It was my mistake, but uh, I apologize for that. Zach Dugan really letting that candy yeah. fly here today. Club baseball, you might, you might as well. <laughs> yeah. And following them in a beautiful Corvette. Jaleese Cha Chang and Jeron Corley. They're about flying through this about that? Yeah, really moving fast here today. Now we're going to see some American muscle oh, led yeah. by uh, this GT Mustang. Yeah. American muscle driven by American muscle. <laughs> <laughs> Anna Chapel and Seth Shiley. <laughs> Jessica Crossan and Jess Myers, our two very own, driven by another good friend of ours, Mr. Caleb. Another nice Jeep right there, oh my goodness. No doors, no roof, no problem. And here's Whitney Patak and Rico Casson in that Jeep. Top down, no doors, American flag flying. And here's Steve. Whitney uh, in the Army, actually. Um, she's sponsored by the Veterans Club, the Athletic, Athletic Training Club, ASA, and SIGTAL. Oh no, here we go. There it is. Fellas. It's time. Question, and, Steve. Steve. Yeah. Pumper or tanker? Um, I think a tanker. I think, like that, I think we got our, ourselves a tanker here. The Blaze Mobile. Yeah, I was just going to say, it's, that's yeah. talking around Blaze right there. Yeah, it's, a, it's a, um, a fire engine, actually. People, people forget there's a difference between fire engine and a fire truck. This is a fire truck, fellas that carries the ladders, the fire engines. They carry the hoses. These are from the California borough, serving since 1907. They've got their little Dalmatian doll in the front of the yeah. fire engine there. And uh, you know, Dalmatians, they were actually the original emergency siren for the, when the fire trucks and fire engines were, were horses, they would lead the path for the horses and they're very friendly with the horses as well. That's a good fact. Also, Steve, you know, these fire trucks, fire engines, everybody sees what's on the outside, but the cool stuff is in oh, the guts it's of on these the trucks. Inside, yeah. You know, the hoses, yeah. all of the tools, there's even jaws of life inside yep. of those, you know, freeing people from from you know cars if they're if they're trapped in a car. So that's the cool stuff right inside there. And some twirlers and of course the California color guard. Waiting for them to showcase some uh, some flag tricks. And if you can't hear it, the California University of Pennsylvania marching band following them. In years past, we do take a moment and let you listen to the marching bands. As they approach a little closer, we'll give you guys a little listen. If you can't hear them marching along. And we will pause for a second just to hear the wonderful California University of Pennsylvania marching band. students as well as alumni. A lot of alumni come back for homecoming week. 
And of course, the cheerleaders trailing the marching band. Oh. And we have ourselves another fire engine, engine 17 from Stockdale. One of my favorite engines, a, a nice modern look to it. Carrying, I believe, more cheerleaders up top, Steve, yep. so it's... It is a very modern looking yeah. engine, you know, right up, uh, right up front, the cab of, the, of that fire engine right there, you can see it's got a modern sleek look. Oh yeah, very sleek, a nice color as well. How about that Jeep too? Oh yeah. my goodness. Take a look at this. They have a brush wow. unit following up behind them from Stockdale. Danny, we oh guys, we were not ready for, for a fire Jeep. But I wasn't ready for a, a brush. I don't I don't really haven't seen one of those. You know, it's uh looks like there's uh a lot some of chainsaws, here. some yeah. some rakes and some uh maybe <laughs> some oars. <laughs> Brownsville ambulance service. And of course, the theater department, the Happy Elf, which they put on every year. Oh, and I love this. This is a new one, fellas. I didn't see this last year or the years past. The tractor hauling some hay, some kiddos. It's a very classic international harvest tractor there. Classic look, classic oh, yeah. Americana. Oh, it's the village with a nice village chant going on. And of course, the District 7330 Governor, Cherry, she Cherry Sears, excuse me, couldn't get that one out, tongue twister. California Area High School Marching Band, marching along. area high school marching band with their color guard trailing behind oh and a classic a classic fire engine you don't see many of those still around in the in the modern days carrying the California high school cheerleaders West Eng Brownsville oh West Brownsville It's another fire engine. We're talking yeah. about that. That's a, a freight liner, actually, a freight liner, excuse me. So that's why it looks a little bit different. Yeah. But still, look at those uh, toolboxes right on the back there. That's yeah. where that best part about the fire engine is all stored all in there. All the gear. Of course, multi purpose. You have the hoses, you have all the tools, uh, you have the cheerleaders from Cal High. And homecoming queen Jenna from Cal High. And that beautiful BMW. We're talking about how cold it is. You see that quilt there? Yep. Woven in California colors. That's a nice touch as well. Classic Chevy. Good old American pickup. rest of the homecoming yep. court from Cal High in the back of this truck here. Roscoe Fire Department coming up, hauling some of the California high school players. Take Man. a look at this squad truck here, Steve. Yeah. Look at that fire emblem crest there. Oh, yeah. Wow. Got a Trojan and two axes on it. Really 
sharp, these, these sharp looking crest. No pun trucks, intended. The fire trucks and the fire engines, they're stepping up their game. They are. This is their time to shine. I mean, usually, I mean, the firefighters, there, it's a thankless job, and it's a nice time to showcase uh, what they got. Another fire engine. Almost got you there. I know. I'm Almost got you there on that one. Oh, now this is a treat right yep. here. We've got the steel line drum line that normally is like a pep band function for the Pittsburgh Steelers here, and they make some great music. So oh, yeah. I want to let you enjoy this one, if you guys don't mind. Coming to the parade every year, Steel Line is, and we have now a cavalry of Jeeps. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Coming up, all in a row. Not exactly All sure. Wranglers, too. Yeah, all Wranglers. Not sure who they're affiliated with. I think it said the Mon Valley Jeepers. Wow. That is the local Jeep Enthusiast Club. Ah. There are some, I mean, these are some. Yeah. <laughs> They're these high nice Jeeps. Yeah. yeah. They're almost like Transformers, the way they can be you know, altered and stuff. You see that one coming on your screen right there. How about that bull bar up front? Those LED lights, lift kit, I'm sure. Mudding tires, they're an exclusive club. And those light bars, Steve, up top, they are pretty penny. And I'm seeing yep. almost every single one of them had one of those up there. So, you know, these guys uh, are some serious Jeepers. Yeah, and here's a nice rustic one, that blue that blue Jeep Wrangler. That one can can crawl some rocks on that one, Steve. There, yeah. uh, is that a Jeep was, term? It is. I'm not yeah, familiar. Yeah, I, know you're, I know you're a Jeep enthusiast. I'm not. My dad has a Jeep, so that's uh, my tie with, with Jeepers. But yeah, huge Jeeper. They are, they're beautiful though. Yep. Looks like we're getting into the first of the oh, yeah. Greek life entries here today. And we'll see exactly. Oh, okay, all right. All right, back to the future. Alpha, Sigma, Alpha, and Acacia. There you go. And Take a gonna... look at this. Oh, we've got oh. some movement. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Oh, oh wow! Whoa! It's got some rocking on that one, oh, Steve. Oh yeah. You know what, Acacia? You know they put on almost all the time. Look at that thing go! Holy moly! Quite a show here, the Back to the Future mobile. Yeah, they better watch out. It's gonna take off. And it's smoking. Intentionally, unten unintentionally, I don't know. I see that. There's a clock oh, on yeah. top. Oh yeah, the spinning, spinning clock. Uh, I, I saw the clock. <laughs> Uh, Even have a dog. Alpha Sigma Alpha. Uh, Keisha. Alpha Sigma Alpha. Are you a brother in there? I don't know. I'm just. I'm just. You just might be. I'm just enjoying the festivities. I'm a. I'm a huge fan of that chant. Taking over the chant for them. Yeah. I want to quickly apologize. We're gonna... experiencing a little bit of latency with our internet connection here. So if it's a little spotty, very. Sorry about that. We've been working to rectify the situation. Now we have the Jeff Morgan High School Band here. Welcome back, everybody. We just got that stream working. So oh, just like that, it's it's here. It's, it's in and out. Here's Jeff Morgan's marching band.
it's going to be tough for these other fraternities and oh. sororities to oh. top that oh. first flow. Oh, buddy. You think that. You think that, but they get better and better as they go on. Oh, they have a good boy. A oh, yes. very good boy in Just the passenger like seat here. The back seat, rather. Oh, this is a, a, a new one. They took a different approach doing some cartoons through the decades of cartoons. Ooh. See SpongeBob up there. Hey Arnold, Gary. Chucky Finster. Rugrats, yeah. Chucky Finster on the ones and twos. Cat Dog, oh my goodness. Very interesting. Tiak and Gamma Sigma Sigma. Let's see, any movement? Oh, Gary's moving. Gary's moving a little bit. CUTV's Kermit down there yeah. too. Kermit. Shout out him. I'm waiting for some movement. I mean, they got us. They got me on the edge of my seat, and I'm not even sitting. Big shoes to fill here after yeah. that first float. Just, I think the movement is just Gary, Gary there. Wait. I believe I hear. Uh, you guys probably can't hear this, but uh, oh yeah, Fresh I'm Prince. saying the viewer the viewers probably can't hear it, but but uh, Fresh Prince, yeah, the theme song blasting. Ah, so they go with a the theme of Gamma, Sigma, Sigma, and Tiak are all that. Ah. As in the old Nickelodeon show, All That. Very fond of that show. Taylor Barda. WCAL in the WCAL. truck there. Taylor Barda, Eddie Coombs. And, of course, the dance team. We'll see if they put on a little number for us. And they put on a great uh, performance for us Tuesday when we were at the hockey game. Yeah, they did. Really? It's, they always they always do something. They always come up with something, and it's always a great show. I like to see them at the, at the basketball games as well, so it's always cool to see them come out and perform. Looks like they will be doing a little performance for us here. Looking Michael Jackson inspired yeah. perhaps here. I love the setup that WCAL has over here in the back of oh, yeah. good friend Taylor Barta's truck here. Still the dance team going at it. I'm about to jump down there and see if I could <laughs> see if I could put on my dancing shoes. If the PYT shirts on, the PYT song in the background. Uh oh, I'm gonna hop in the circle. I might do it. I get down there. <laughs> oh jeez! All of a sudden we hear that that come off and Steve's <laughs> running down. Get Nancy. I want to see your guys' best moves. Oh, you don't want to yeah, see. Yeah, you do not want to <laughs> see that, Steve, for sure. Oh, no, I do. The dance team putting on a fantastic show, as usual. Really seem to please the judges over here to our left. The Black Student Union following behind. Presenting a nice banner. See that banner come in right there. I believe that's a green Dodge Challenger, I want to say. 
Yeah, I think that Charger? sounds about right. Maybe? I want to say, and I believe Char they're with... Charger, Challenger, something like that? I believe they're with the Black Student Union, so that's always... There's cars, they draw, they yeah. draw, definitely draw a oh, crowd, yeah. draw some eyes. And the mighty Indian marching band of Peter Township High School. Peter's Township High School. The cheerleaders. The color guard, I believe. Wielding the fake rifles. It's really interesting. You don't see too many high schools go with the rifle units anymore. A lot of them are really strictly flag units. Yep. That's something you don't see every day. That's more of a drum corps type of look, yep. but nice and breath of fresh air. And here's the here's the mighty Indian marching band. And we have a mace here for one of their drum majors. Another thing you really don't see very often with yeah, but if I turn high school bands. the mighty Indian marching band. A fantastic performance from them. Let's see what's coming up next. Oh, another fire truck. The first fire truck and not fire engine we've seen in quite some time. And of course, like usual, the state senator of the 46th district making his appearance. Camara Bartolota. Good hands over here yeah. from Danny Beck catching a Jolly Rancher. A Denora fire truck. Another Mustang following this fire truck. On those classic cars, I believe that's another homecoming class. We'll see. It says Midmon yeah. Valley. I think she's a little young to be a homecoming <laughs> candidate. <laughs> we'll see here. Oh, let's see. Mrs. Midmon Valley. Michelle Burton. Following Mrs. Midmon Valley, here's Mr. Midmon Valley of 2018 2019, Nick Richards. Sp sporting that. And Mohawk. That Mohawk is looking nice, yeah. too. That's all the way around the back. <laughs> Jeez, I'm jealous. And Sydney Coleman, Jr. Miss Mon Valley. And following them is Riley Bodner. Uh, the Miss Mid Mon Valley preteen. Look at this one, a classic. Classic Corvette here. Yeah, oh yeah, I like that one. Holly Lesko, Miss Midmont Valley team. The sound is nice too oh, on yeah. that. Look at the grills on the front there too. Oh yeah, that's a that's a good one. The Fraser Commodore marching band following. And we'll take a listen to Fraser Commodore marching band.
Fraser Commodore Band coming out for the California Parade, Homecoming Parade, of course. Another Mustang, fellas. Convertible. State House 49th District. That is a Steve sharp, Cabrini. sharp Mustang. That bit of a candy cane race stripe look there. Charleroi Marching Band. Cheerleaders and twirlers. Take a, look, a listen to the Charleroi Marching Band. marching band. Huge gap in between the parade. I think one of my favorite things about hearing all sorts of different bands in a parade like this is just the cadence that all their percussion sections bring to the table here. There's so many different varieties that helps keep the band in step, of course, that is what a cadence is indeed for, but so many different beats, varieties, and we've heard so many different ones here today. It is fantastic. Now, the Kishel Roberts Dance Company setting up some sort of a little, sort of float themselves, that little star. Everyone throwing out candy. Oh, oh there's a confetti, confetti gun, yeah. yeah. Well, we've got another float now. It's going to be hard to distinguish what's candy and what's yeah. confetti down right. there. How about it? And now we do. I don't know. Is yeah, it is another float. Whoa, some smoke. This is a good one. And everyone sporting a dog. It's the look. Get yourself a little bit of extra points here from the judges. Yeah. Nice good boy. Or good girl. That's right. And that float didn't stop. I hope they don't get points deducted. Hopefully the judges have enough time. The 1920s that float is uh, meant to represent. Oh, the... I think the judges are getting a little frazzled with how quick that float went by. They didn't even have a chance. Now Beth Center, their marching band. A lot of great bands, high school, high school bands that make their way out for the parade. I'm not mistaken, that sounded as if it was from the Disney yep, Moana. movie Moana. Another dog, really playing. This is a cool one. Yeah, Look we at that. 
Rubik's Cube, some arcade games. I like this one. This might be my, uh, this might be it for me. It's the go-to, yeah. Got out a boom box. Man, I don't know. We're really trying to get these floats through. And there, finally, these judges, they're, they're getting upset over there. Yeah, they're getting riled up. I can see they're frantically waving their pens yep. over here. Telling them to stop. I mean, these floats are just flying through. I hope the one before that didn't, it didn't get any points deducted. Looks like the marching band from Bishop Camden, I think? I'm not sure there. And on your screen now is my personal favorite fire uh, fire truck it is the white and blue South Brownsville. This is quite a yeah. unit here. Untraditional. We were talking about how these fire engines and fire trucks were stepping up their game, switching up from the red and white. That blue and white is crisp. So that is nice. That. Since 1908, they've wow. been serving their community. And another one from South Brownsville. Still that white and blue. Gotta it's, love it. It's interesting, though, because the high school, their colors are a little bit different. Uh, you know, you figure... You see the fire companies really kind of tend to get their color scheme from the local high school. Yeah. I know that's how it is for me at home. Exactly. Same with mine. the pa paranormal society and maple town junior and senior high school marching band coming up i hear some chanting behind the maple town marching bands it's like another another float. Oh yeah, Steve. yeah. We've got a treat here. This one looks. I see a, I see a lot special. of smoke. Hopefully they don't use all their smokes before they get down to those judges. <laughs> oh, it's a classic. Wait till you see this float, folks. There it is. There it oh is. my goodness. What a good one. Very colorful. That, that classic Volkswagen um, van. Spending its tires too. Oh, on wow. That. Sweet Caroline blasting. Some moving wheels. Of course, some smoke. DZ and Sigtal. Or, I'm sorry, AKL. Some chanting going on from the sisters of DZ. Really having to battle the band behind them here. Oh, look at that, it's Carmichael's. There's the smoke, showcasing it for those judges. fan of this one a lot of smoke hopefully hopefully that doesn't affect the judge's vision I like how there's a rainbow on the side too yeah. really a lot of colors yeah, I really like colorful floats yeah. like that and their shirts too I mean matching yeah, nice their floats shirts too. now for the second time in less than 24 hours here at CUTV we see the Carmichael's Mighty Mike's marching band I know, uh, I think it was you, Danny, yesterday that was saying you were such a fan of their lightning bolt uniform oh, patterns here. Oh, yeah, almost looked like the Los Angeles Chargers.
Carmichael's marching band. And now Ed Hollywood and Son, plumbing and heating. Nice little old-fashioned truck that is. And Danny, I think we have a tanker coming up. There it is. The good old-fashioned tanker. I think that's the first tanker we've seen today. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it is. Yeah, it definitely is. And that's Dan Denbo Vesta 6, volunteer fire company. Established in 1949. That tanker is slick. How about it? That's yeah. the first one we've seen. And <laughs> it's a good looking tanker if I've ever seen one. Yeah, it is. 100% volunteer. This Just look at that fire big company. tank. That's from Washington County. So Yeah, I don't know how it is for you guys, but at home, I don't know if you have paid salary employees for your fire department. I know mine is 100% volunteer. As well as mine. I am not sure about mine. I believe it. it is volunteer. I know there are fi volunteer fire companies around my area. I'm in a much bigger area than you, uh, Colin, but you know, there are a lot of uh, volunteer fire companies around my, my neck of the woods. Now Ringgold High School marching band coming up. The Ringgold cheerleaders as well as their twirlers. It's one of the bigger bands that we've seen. Yeah, oh yeah. Really powerful sound, too. All around. Take a listen into the Ringgold Marching Band. That was Ringgold High School Marching Band. Coming up next is another float. And you know what? They they put WCAL in their float. Look at that. CUTV's Tristan Bartolomucci down there with his Sig Tall brothers. I believe there's Fiji down there as well. That's a good one. That's a good one. I like that WCAL uh, little uh, turntable. Another fire engine hosting uh, California youth football players and Alderdice marching band coming up right after them. Wow, take a look at these uniforms yeah. here sporting and that dragon pattern. Yep, one of the coolest mascots, I think, in high school is the Alderdice Dragons. 
what a, I mean, their uniforms, yep. and you mentioned it, Colin, their uniforms are slick. They will be the last band to conclude the 2018 Homecoming Parade. And the Vulcan Flyer is the official sign to the end of the 2018 Homecoming Parade. And what a fantastic one it was. It was a fantastic one. It really you know, lived up to the hype you set for us, Steven. You know, all these people that came out today, it's, these streets are packed. You know, Colin said that he hasn't seen this town as packed as this in quite some time and all coming out to support the parade. So it was an awesome one. Definitely, it was a, it was a fun one. It was a fun one, Colin. How was it? Oh, well, it was great. I love being able to come out and see parades. Of course, one of the biggest uh, traditions we have in my family at home is on Thanksgiving, we'll all sit down together before, you know, dinner and whatnot. We'll all watch the parade and talk about all the floats and stuff. Oh, yeah. So it's nice to be able to see a parade, especially live like this. Yeah, and just be aware of the scores and the winner of the, the floats. The judges are hard at work over there. And I think that concludes it for this parade. Be sure to check out the Vulcans on CUTV, the football game. They host Gannon at 3 o'clock for Danny Beck, for Colin Kirkwood. I'm Stephen Ruffing, and until next year, you'll have to patiently wait one more year for another homecoming parade. Thank you very much, and have a great homecoming, everyone.